Hey everyone, welcome to this video. So today in this video, we'll be talking about which PC you need to run Godot. So what type of PC you obviously need to run Godot. Now, okay, so there's a specification over here. And there's a thing called can Godot run on 2GB RAM PC. I wouldn't recommend this, but uh you might be able to run it in 2gb RAM pc also if you are starting off then you can obviously run it so yeah let's see about the system requirements which is for godot okay so yeah system requirements you obviously need 4gb of ram i'm in game pc game benchmarks and so yeah you you actually need a uh, 4gb of ram obviously and you obviously need uh, nvidia geforce 8 200 mg and you can run it in intern core 2 duo which is one of the oldest uh, it, it has been more than 10 years or so and that uh, with intern core 2 duo and i think most of you guys have uh, i think like uh, quad core processors or i3 i5 i7 and i think that will work fine with code okay so yeah now you can obviously it is uh, giving you some of the system requirements so these benchmarks should be uh, good for you and uh, now you might be thinking okay so i don't have any type of graphics card or my graphics card is integrated i have intel sd graphics card um then i also have intel sd okay don't worry guys i also have intel sd now if you come over here then uh, hardware supporting OpenGL 3.3 core 4 5 so you need to have that one or you need to have Intel's third generation series GPU okay so Intel's third generation series GPU uh, I have sixth generation I think so I don't know uh, my processor is sixth generation so I think the integrated GPU is also sixth generation so yeah you you can obviously run uh, this uh, this game in engine in very potato PC also so you don't have to worry about that but if you want to create a 3d game then you need to have a gpu you need to have a nice gpu you cannot run it in a potato one so let me just show you uh, my godot so obviously the, i have shown you my godot a lot of times now over here as you can see i am running it in intel sd graphics 5 point can i make it bigger okay so uh, Intel SD graphics 520. I'm using OpenGL ES 3.0 renderer. So um, whenever you click on new project, then ES 3.0 renderer it is good for higher visual quality. But uh, it is not. Uh, you can go with 2.0 also if you have a very potato PC. So yeah. Now you might be asking me can i do 3d game development okay obviously i have shown you guys a lot of tutorials and i'm even re recording my videos i'm even recording my videos i'm even uh, testing my games without any problem in my potato pc this is not even okay. it's a good pr pretty good one uh, to have an intel sd graphics i don't know so yeah that's for that one now if you are talking about unity then that might be a little bit in problem so um like can you run 3d games in here let's check it out okay now as you can see this is a 3d game obviously it has it lags a lot because i won't suggest you to use intel sd graphics for 3d game development as you can see i have already loaded this 3d kind of platformer game here. now that one that box is our player and uh, yeah obviously you can do a 3d game in development also but it lags a lot sometimes so yeah i wouldn't suggest you to do 3d game development in godot with uh, intel sd graphics but if you want you can obviously do some of it some of it not I'm, I'm i'm not saying like you can do a lot of it you can just do some of it and as you see there's a camera right over there and that's kinematic body not 2d kinematic body only 
so yeah now the thing is will it run will it run that's the main thing okay let's see as you can see it it runs but it stops okay now you might be thinking it is stop okay no it is actually playing as you can see i can actually play it But, but <laughs> I can obviously uh, play this 3D game. I think OBS is uh, lagging a little bit, but it is not lagging this much in uh, game. Obviously, not lagging a lot in this game. Now, if you want to check it by yourself, I fell down. Obviously, it is not lagging like this, but uh, it is obviously showing. We see that it is lagging in OBS, so it is not even lagging a lot. So I think it's around 30 frames per second or 35. But in OBS, uh, the software which I'm using to record, uh, let me just show you that one. See this one? This one is lagging a little bit. I don't know. Obviously, the game isn't really lagging. Whoa! 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 Let me just wait for going over there. Whoa! Okay. So this is quite interesting, yeah? Whoa! 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 <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, I think I could complete this uh, one. Oh, okay, I fell down. So, yeah. It, it works quite well, as you can see. It works quite well, and as you can see, I could just see over here like now down this one uh, and I could obviously move it and do a lot of, uh, do all of the things which uh, we need to do in 3d obviously you can obviously try it out so now yeah you can actually run um, 3d games in your Proto PC also so um, what I'll do is I will just click on don't save okay so now you might be thinking I want to test 3d feature first before using uh, my guru game engine then what you can do over here is if you want to test your 3d features then go into templates i actually downloaded this template which is can 3d and uh, this one is Canada 3d now there is another one called third person or shooter demo which i will be also showing you again so you just click over there and hit the download button then obviously wait and you can obviously do that but the problem with my uh, PC is uh, it doesn't run smoothly that one my OBS just crash whenever I try to run that third person one now you can go ahead and try it by yourself try it by yourself so yeah you can do that specific thing so yeah, thank you for watching guys I hope you understand that you don't need an, a nice PC in order to start using Godot obviously you can use the same specs for unity also and you can develop games in unity also you don't even need a nice pc so yeah i have a very bad gpu and i am running in intel core i5 by the way uh sixth generation so i think you i hope you understand and you will watch it please subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see game development mm, tutorials web development sometimes i even make web development and apps development also mobile app development and after that you want if you want pixel art after that you want godot content or you want unity content also sometimes i'm thinking of creating unity content but i haven't published any of unity content but i have posted a lot of web development and app development contents over here thank you for watching